Amerikano pero Pilipino rin. Yan daw si ABS-CBN Chairman Emeritus Gabby Lopez III, kaya sabi ng ka- kanyang kampo, pasok daw sa constitutional requirement para sa pagmamayari ng isang broadcast company. Pero tanong naman ang ilang mababatas na dumidinig kung bibigyan ng panibagong prangkisa ang TV network, nasaan ang kanyang allegiance o katapatan, sa Pilipinas o sa Amerika? May unang balita si Victoria Tulad. Malinaw sa saligang batas, mga Pilipino lamang ang maaaring magmay-ari ng mass media companies sa Pilipinas. Kaya sa pagdinig sa kamera para sa bagong prangkisa ng ABS-CBN, inaalam ng mga mambabatas kung nilabag ba ito ni ABS-CBN Chairman Emeritus Gabi Lopez na nagsilbi noong Chairman, Chief Executive Officer, President, General Manager at Chief Financial Officer ng TV Network. Pag-amin ni Lopez sa Committee on Legislative Franchises at Good Government and Public Accountability. Pareho siyang Amerikano at Pilipino bilang isang dual citizen. The only question is, is he 100% Filipino or 100% American or 50% Filipino and 50% American? Pinangalak po siya mula sa mga Pilipino and under our constitution, yung sanguinis ay Filipino siya. Pinanganak din po siya sa Amerika. Na alam po naman natin na pagka ikaw ay pinanganak sa teritoryo ng Amerika, ikaw ay American citizen. Pero ayon kay Anak Kalusugan Representative Mike Defensor, na ayon ba sa saligang batas na magmay-ari at mamahala ng isang mass media company, ang Pilipinong meron ding ibang nasyonalidad? Now we have the question of the West Philippine Sea. Can you imagine the situation of an owner of a broadcasting station in the Philippines, president of a broadcasting t- station of the Philippines, having been half or is half Filipino and half Chinese. That is why if we require our kagawads, our cap- barangay captains to be full Filipino citizenship, then I think it is also incumbent upon us to require those who will handle and own mass media to have full Filipino citizenship. Wala pong nagsasabi sa amin kapag dual citizen ka, hindi pwede. Kasi po, ang nakalagay sa Constitution, kailangan Pilipino ka. Wala naman pong nakalagay doon, ang kailangan Pilipino ka lang. I stand by my record over the last 35 years. I have been committed to the people of this country. So please, if you are going to look beyond the technicality and talk about allegiance, please look at my record over the last 35 years po. Pero tanong ng mga mambabatas, bakit U.S. passport ang ginamit noon ni Lopez sa kanyang mga biyahe kung talagang Pilipino siya? Taong 2001 lang siya nag-apply ng Philippine passport at kumuha ng Certificate of Recognition ng Pagkapilipino mula sa Bureau of Immigration. Did the upper management of EBS-CBN know that you were using an American passport and had no Filipino passport when you assumed leadership of ABS-CBN in 1986? It, it was not an issue that uh, was raised during our management uh, hearings. Uh, my understanding from my lawyers was that I am a natural-born Filipino citizen because both my parents are Filipino citizens. But because I was not born in the Philippines, I did not have a Filipino birth certificate. So it, it, uh, it behooved me uh, to have a recognition Um, by the Department of Justice and the Bureau of Immigration for whatever legal purposes I may use. Ang kanya pong paggamit ng kanyang U.S. passport ay hindi po dahilan para mawala po ang kanyang Filipino citizenship. At ang um, hindi naman po niya pagkakaroon ng Philippine passport ay hindi rin isang dahilan na hindi siya maging Pilipino. Inamin din ni Lopez na bumoto siya sa Amerika noong 2016 U.S. elections. Did you ever vote in the U.S. election? Mr. Lopez? Yes, Your Honor. I voted in 2016. Giit ni Lopez, kahit kailan ay hindi siya nanumpa ng allegiance sa Amerika. Pero sabi ni Representative Defensor, may nilagdaang dokumento si Lopez bilang bahagi ng kanyang aplikasyon para sa renewal ng kanyang American passport noong 1996. Ito na po yung quote, application for a U.S. passport. I have not, since acquiring United States citizenship, nationality, been naturalized as a citizen of a foreign state, taken an oath or made an affirmation or other formal declaration of allegiance to a foreign state, entered or served in the armed forces of a foreign state, accepted 
or perform the duties of any office, post, or employment under the government of a foreign state or political subdivision thereof, may the formal renunciation of nationality either in the United States or before a diplomatic or consular officer of the United States in a foreign state, ang act and condition po na to sa pag-apply ng U.S. passport only means that you are giving allegiance to the United States and no other foreign state. Very clear. Hindi po tayo dalabhasa sa American law dahil we are Philippine lawyers. Ang sinasabi ko lang po that under our law, he never lost his citizenship when he applied for or obtained foreign passports. Mr. Chairman. Giit din ang kampo ni Lopez kung hindi siya ganap na Pilipino. Dapat sana'y kinwestiyon na ng Securities and Exchange Commission ang Articles of Incorporation ng ABS-CBN. Pero sabi ng SEC, nagbabatay lang sila sa ibinibigay na dokumento ng mga kumpanya. In the records with the SEC, we only have uh, records as submitted by the corporation, ABS-CBN and the other corporations uh, with uh, Mr. Lopez, identifying him to be a Filipino citizen. We do not inquire anymore, uh, Your Honor, as to the citizenship of his parents or his background. We are merely relying on the records that are submitted to us, uh, primarily the corporate records, uh, as certified by the corporate secretary. Hindi natapos ang diskusyon tungkol sa citizenship ni Gabi Lopez sa pagdinig, kaya itutuloy ito sa lunes. Nakatakda rin talakayin ang iba pang mga constitutional issues na ibinabato laban sa ABS-CBN. Iyan ang unang balita, Victoria Tulad, buong puso para sa Pilipino.